So welcome to 2022, question A3. This was uh, an intersecting solids question. So the image below shows the design, so it shows a design based on a square based prism. Okay, so our square based prism intersecting a square based pyramid. Okay, so here's our square based pyramid. The drawing on the right shows the incomplete elevation and plan for the intersecting solids. Okay. Part A, using the given x1, y1, draw an auxiliary elevation of the intersecting solids. So they've given us a head start indicating just where they want the elevation or the auxiliary elevation. So um, we're going to project out from our plan to find our auxiliary elevation taking our heights from our elevation. So slide and set squares. I have my x1 and y1, project out all of these edges, let's project that out already. Okay, now we're going to take our heights, so I'll start with the triangular prism first of all and draw that, and then I'll do the, oh sorry, the pyramid square base pyramid first of all and then I'll deal with the um, square base prism so all the points on the base are on the XY line so they're going to stay there and then I just need to find the height of my prism or pyramid so that's the top part, point follow it up okay so here are the projections of that pyramid. Right, and now I'm going to locate the square based prism. Okay, so project out along those lines. So I find the high point, this line here, which here is the corresponding line. Let's get that height down to my xy. Follow it back. I'll get the next two heights, which correspond to if I follow them down here, that edge, here, and that edge. So they're at the same height. So follow that down. Look for my xy one. And finally, the base, which is directly underneath that top point, so at that height. If you're unsure of which one, just extend them down and see which uh, edge they line up with. Okay, so I can draw in my prism. Okay, so now I've located the uh, auxiliary elevation, so that's part A completed, and they ask us then in part B, complete the elevation and plan of the intersecting solids, showing all lines of interpenetration. So we're going to use the points that we've obtained here in our auxiliary to inform that decision. So I'll start here with is I'm actually going to index my points, okay? I'm going to call this edge 1, edge 2, edge 3, and edge 4. And if we follow them back, so this is edge 1, comma, comma 3, so that's 1 on the top, and 3 is on the underside. Here's edge 2, and here's edge 4. That will help us later. And I'll also index up the base of the pyramid. Okay, so I'll call that A, 
B, C, D, and indexing up here, that's A, B, D, and C. And I'll call the top O, so there's O. And it's index everything else up here in my elevation. So I've got B, A, C, D. Oh, now though this might be tedious, so this is the top edge, which is 1, edge 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, as I was saying, like you might feel like this is tedious, but it will make life very easy when we're trying to figure out where our hidden detail is um, in the final bit. So, um, let's start here, okay? This point that is on the line OC so I'm going to project that back onto line OC okay and this is also on line OC and this is OA Check down to OA and down to OA. Alright. Uh, what we need to actually do is we need to take some points from the elevation down as well. So we can see that edge one as it moves along intersects O D there and O B there. So I'm going to project that down. Okay, so here we have a couple of edges, right? So this point is going to run from here, actually, extend that on to where that edge comes down or that point comes down from OB. And there to there. Okay, so that's where the top intersects. Okay, we're also going to need to bring down these points then for the underside. So we've got the points here for the underside where it travels. So bring these down. So this is all going to be hidden detail. show some of that hidden detail. Okay, so that's my plan view. And now I need to project up and find my uh, draw a heavy line. Put that heavy line there. Standing on from O just to show some of that edge. So um, now on line O to A at this point, so here's O A, this is where the layering comes in. They're not showing the full projections of it. Let's just show the full projections. So that's that point. We've already found that point. I brought it down. And let's bring that up to the back along OC. So that's at the back. And that point we have already. So now running around the front of the object, I can show here to here. And then on the far side of my object, okay, with these running down on the other other side, so running from this point, which we have down to line C O. And then back then up onto B O. Okay, 
this heavy in my edge there. All right, now we're going to repeat the same thing for the underside. So, that point on BO, I have on AO, project up onto AO, that's the point. OD, I have. O, C, I don't have, so I'll project the ground for that. So, we are going to have a heavy line here, because we're looking in from this side, between there and there. A heavy line from this edge, down to the and then hidden detail at the back. And to find out, finish it off, I just put in my heavy edge there, going down to A and hidden detail at the back of the object from all running down to C. Okay, just looking back on that, these should probably be at the same height. I probably was a little too generous with that, going up too, th too high. And similar to these, these are the same height. These should be at the same height as well. So that's just a little error on my part, okay, because they're cut at the same height here. Okay, so that's uh, question A3, 2022.